I went jet skiing with white people and I liked it. And I liked it. Five things I don't brought back to the shore, including me. Woo! Number one, white folks don't fear sea life like everybody else. When I say everybody, I mean me. The only thing I know about a shark is what Jaws was on TV. So anytime somebody say shark, I think of Jaws. I ain't thinking about the little baby shark. I ain't thinking about the shark in the lake. I'm thinking about shark on Jaws who eat people. While I was in Marco Island, Florida, going jet skiing with one of my boys, we seen a dolphin. Now, I seen a fin. I seen gray. I seen a fin. I saw a shark. They saw my back going back to the shore. I'm not finna find out if Flipper got a cousin. I don't want to see no manatee of a fish bigger than my foot. I'm going away. White folks don't see none of that. They gonna wave her up on it. Study it, look at it in his eyes. If they got to, they'll get off the jet ski and get inside the shark mouth and think, I think, I, yeah, I think Jaws got me. That fear gland that's supposed to be right here in your throat or in the back of your brain, that did not come included when you came out the coochie. Y'all have no fear of sea critters. Two, I do believe white folks discover new lands because they are the only ones brave enough to go in the back of mangroves and bushes off trail. In Marco Island, there are trails that you can go back and just enjoy some of the mangroves, see some of the houses on the beach, see some normal stuff, but nah. Brandon, it's gray clouds and lightning bolts over that way, Brandon. It's sunshine and rainbows. It might be a pride festival coming up. Can we go back towards the rainbows and stuff, Brandon? Y'all gotta know what's going on so y'all can explain that story back when we get back to the shore. And the story will have no details excluded. You guys should have seen Josh. I went down there towards the dark clouds with the lava flowing towards me, and he wanted to go back towards the sunshine. He was so scared, but I went about 13 miles an hour this way as Josh rolled back that way. He's such a... I'm a what, bruh? I'm a, I can't swim, but bro, I swim right off in your sh Let's go, dog. Take me home. But three, white folks will ziplock bag everything. When you go on a jet ski, they usually tell you there's a spot in the middle where you keep your phone, a disposable camera, something like that. Bruh, we had everything. I got thirsty, we had ziplock bottles of water. I got hungry, we had ziplock jelly sandwiches, we had turkey sandwiches, we had fried chicken. Who the hell brought the fried chicken? What y'all trying to say? I'ma eat it, but who brought it out there? Camera phones, disposable cameras, portable chargers, waterproof chargers, waterproof, waterproof Ziploc bags. If you give your white homie an area to keep anything extra, they gonna keep everything extra. Before, white people become the most athletic humans I've ever seen when they're in the middle of the ocean on a machine that can do all kind of stuff. It's a saying, white dudes can't jump. It's a saying, white dudes don't really be that fast. You ain't gonna never hear nobody saying, white dudes, don't do jet skis and wave runner tricks the best ever. Anything past eight feet in the ocean, I'm scared to put my legs in the water. I'm not having it, not trying to do it. Jaws might bite me. Nemo might try to find his way home on my pinky toe. Not gonna happen. But go ask Tucker to go out there. He doing 360 waves. He putting his jet ski in the water. You holding your breath. Where's Tucker? Then he come back out the water like he's Superman or somebody. If wave running tricks was an Olympic sport, every year at the top of that list, you're gonna see a Tucker, you're gonna see a Jun Jun, you're gonna see a Billy Bob, you're gonna see a Tim, and you might see a Marvin. And his name is Marvin because his mama was from the hood. Number five, they do not mind you driving their stuff at all. Now don't get number five twisted. I'm not saying they mind you crashing their stuff. I'm saying they don't mind you driving and borrowing it while y'all out there having fun. But the moment you hit a tree, the moment something is scratched, the moment you hit another jet ski, Josh, I know we've been buddies for 28 years. I know you've given me a kidney, but um, I need your license and insurance information. Wait, but Brandon, you brought me out here, bro. This wasn't my fault. Like they ran into me. I understand that, Josh. I saw the whole thing with my eyes, but um, I need your license and insurance information. And now you mad at Brandon. You mad at Brandon because you can't afford to pay for the jet ski. Now if you could afford to pay for this jet ski, you would have had your own jet ski. And now you finna sick to your stomach because you ate that fried chicken that Brandon gave you earlier. You don't know who seasoned the chicken, although the chicken was seasoned real well. You throwing the chicken up now. And now you in the area back here in the woods because Brandon don't convince you to go back here where there was lightning at when you can stand over there where it was the rainbows and marshmallows. I say all that to say, I cannot wait to go jet skiing next Saturday in Naples, Florida. Mm -hmm. Telling me you can still have me when you know damn well you can't have me. Got me out here looking silly and I swore I'm finna make you feel me. Telling me you can still have me when you know damn well you can't have me. Got me out here looking silly and I swore I'm finna make you feel me. I'ma make you feel my pain. I'ma make you feel my pain.